Okay, this is uh, removing and uh, reinstalling a drive belt and an encore. What you do first of all is reach down here in the front uh, and uh, uh, loosen uh, the um, thumb knob and with that you can turn it uh, uh, clockwise a couple of turns and that uh, loosens the belt and then you just take the belt and pull off of here and that will let the, the belt um, uh, come off with the sprockets and then you just take the, um, the belt off from the sprockets down here at the bottom and move the, the belt into the middle between the sprockets and Taking it off of the crank on the other side, you can just pull the belt out. And then to put the belt back in, or put a new belt in, either one, now put it back in, down to the middle, pull it around. <coughs> and then, just take the belt in reverse of what you did before, put it down in here and around the, the uh, sprockets down here. Make sure that you don't twist the belt um, relative to what, how it should go on. Put it down in here and put the belt, the back side of the belt over the yellow rollers on both sides. <laughs> and then you can put the belt on either side up and over the big sprocket and it came out the yellow yeah okay and the belt came off of the yellow Belt on there, voila! And then you don't forget to go back and tighten the big nut. In this particular case, you, um, turn it counterclockwise until it just comes up a little bit, a little bit snug. Not over tightening it, and then tighten the um, the thumb screw a little bit. That doesn't have to be over tightened either new belt or the other belt is now replaced on there. And that's the way you do it. You do not have to